Hello and welcome to this review of the 118 scale 21st century M998 Humvee softtop modern US cargo and troop carrier. The first thing that stands out the most is that it has a real um, canvas roof which is uh, really nice and is uh, attached by these uh, metal pins here, 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 here and then you've got a further two on the back here. It also comes with a clear plastic visor which is really nice. You can actually see all the stitching and then you've got a further four pins on this side here, here, here and here. As you can see, it's uh, got some really nice detail on it. You've got um, some sort of, um, must probably load uh, um, allowance figures for what sort of uh, weight you can carry. It's also got TP22 here. And that stands for tyre pressure. And you've also got TP20 on this side, which also tells you how much tyre pressure that you should be putting into this vehicle. Uh, the tyres itself are actually made of uh, a firm rubber and have this nice uh, weathering mud effect on it, which also appears on the back tyre, well, on all four tyres. It also has this nice uh, riveting effect all along the bottom of the uh, body of the vehicle, up here and all the way around. Also got the um, nice indentation which gives the door support and some uh, rivets here and here. You've also got the uh, lights. These are painted, uh, not so well on this one. Um, and you've got the indicators here and here. Um, I believe it did have a mirror here, but um, I believe that's mostly got snapped off somehow. There is slight weathering on the door. Here you've got your upside down chevron. Um, and um, I think what makes this stand out most from the BBI um, Humvees and the World Peacekeepers um, Stroke Power Team Elite. It actually does have Perspex glass, well, plastic, uh, on the doors and on the windshield, which um, BBI and uh, World Peacekeepers and Power Team Elite have omitted. It also has the um, snorkel in the down position but you also have it slightly raised there so it gives the impression that it could be lifted but uh, unfortunately this can't be raised uh, it has a nice sort of like a simulation of window wipers which is nice and you've got the grill the engine and you've got these sling hooks here which are used uh, to airlift the vehicle. Uh, the front is equally as nice. Um, you've actually got uh, red perspex uh, lenses here and here and clear dome lenses here. Uh, you've got your nice identification uh, lettering and from which headquarters it's come from. Um, to the side here we have uh, the petrol cap which is recessed and looks really nice. Um, there's also a label here which uh, is um, illegible and it's too small for me to read but that's a nice touch. Um, you've also got um, these sort of like simulated hooks here. Uh, you've got a 
part of the axle which looks nice and uh, you've got weathering on the inside of the tyres here and here on all four the underneath has a mist of weathering just about make it on the black chassis um, nice detailing uh, this might be the fuel tank your exhaust here and it actually goes into the engine down there you actually got um, simulated springs and the axle front and back and your wishbones here and here <coughs> um, as with these vehicles uh, <coughs> uh, the wheels do not rate, uh, do not turn but they do uh, well they do not turn left and right I mean they're not steerable um, they do roll nicely as you can see um, and the added feature is that you can actually uh, remove uh, the cargo um, canvas roof uh, by unhooking them from these pins here so if we go ahead and show you how to do that, that just pulls that down slightly as well as pulling this one down slightly here and basically you're just unhooking it uh, from the eyelets that have been created in this canvas you've got the further two at the back here and then one here and another one here Um, so it does. It is held securely uh, onto the vehicle, and this one just can be uh, folded if you like. I usually fold it like this. Like so. So it's like that. Nicely packaged. And I've got this uh, cargo netting. It's made of rubber or plastic, soft plastic. And what I usually do is uh, I usually wrap it in here, like so, like this. And then uh, what I do is I get these hoops and I push them in here, like so, like that. And I grab this one and I do the same on this side. So, and what you can do from that is you can actually um, peg it to your vehicle. So, what I usually do is I peg on this side, and this is using the existing pegs one here, and then you've got these round hoops here, and this one just it's like you're just making use of uh, the existing pegs on the vehicle, like so. And then you use that one. Peg that like that. <coughs> so you've actually got um, the canvas roof already um, in times of when the weather's too hot in uh, Afghanistan or wherever they are there's an environment so that's, that's that's quite neat keeps it all safely stored away um, you've got the doors that open but having the glass it makes it a bit awkward so you just pop my hand in and open that so you've got that door you've got this door that opens Uh, you've got passenger door, like so, and you've got the rear door, opens, as you can see i um, got one figure in there already, that's a BBI figure, uh, fits quite nicely in there, without any problems, we also have uh, the driver, also a BBI figure, um, no detailing as such on the instrument panel, 
apart from uh, some silhouette of dials and buttons um, still not bad uh, there is actually looks like a radio on the inside Oops. Okay. You can just about where well, you can see that black box just there. And it's supposed to be a radio. Um, as you can see the rear hatch comes down is uh got the rivets. It's a nice had printing on it. It's good uh, clear red lenses, painted red lenses here. This actually uh, comes down, so that's five opening features. Inside you've got uh, some stowage. Um, not too sure what that is. Um, you've got your jerry can here and here. That's nice. Um, also has this roll cage frame, which is made of plastic, which is good. Um, it does have two rear seats here. Two rear seats. But the only downfall is, um, for some reason, you can't get the figure in. So you you reduce um, the amount of uh, soldier capacity is reduced. He just doesn't want to go in his head. And even if I try to pop him in from the top, if you see um, his feet touch the bottom. His feet touch the bottom of the plate, the chassis, just there. But unfortunately, there's no other way to get him in, which is a bit of a letdown. Um, I presume that's why BBI actually had the uh, cutouts in the floor plan um, on their Humvee. So then uh, the feet could actually dangle out um, of the bottom of the chassis. But then I suppose at least he would be able to sit in properly. So that's that's definitely um, a neg negative aspect. But for the price of the vehicle, um, it's not really that bad, to be honest. Um, so you lose those two seats. But what you could do is put uh, extra stowage in there. Um, so if we look at the uh, stowage capacity now, just shut this up, there we go, <clears throat> so here we can see we have the uh, AH-6I attack helicopter and it's actually brought um, some supplies for us. So if we have a look at this, got this crate here. This crate's got a lid, and um, if we open the wooden crate, see what we've got in here. Right, that's the crate lid, and here you can see we have some. Is it um, automatic rifles or machine guns? I'm not too sure because I'm not really a, a gun fanatic, more of a vehicle fanatic. But um, yeah, so these can actually be removed. Yeah, this is custom built by the way. So you can actually pull out one of the guns. You have two remaining. A bit difficult to see when they're this sand colour. And you have a further 
come in the center though. Bit fiddly. You got big fingers. There you go. So that's that's your three guns in your uh, gun crate. So we put those back in. There you go. So they look nice in now. You can put the lid back on. There you go. So this can actually fit in the back of the truck. Let's uh, put it in from the back here. Like so. Unfortunately the Crate's a bit bigger um, than the actual uh, space within the truck, but um, let's see what else we've got. So we have uh, a rucksack um, from uh, World Peacekeepers. I think all of the stowage are actually World Peacekeepers, to be honest. Here we have an oil drum. And um, we have another oil drum over this side. Like so. And we have those two crates in here. Here's one. Push the ammo belt down a bit. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. One crate. I'm going to do the final one if it wishes to come out. There you go. Just push that aside. And here we have the other crate. So let's put these uh, barrels in or drums. And you've got your crates here, your further crate, and your rucksack. So this one uh, just closes nicely, like so. All the supplies are ready. All you have to do is unclip this, unclip this, unclip this, and then the final one, take it out of the cargo netting, like so. Unravel the cargo, the uh, canvas roof. Pop it on, just pop it on lightly, um, and then start buttoning it up. So this one hooks into here, like so. And this one gets stretched taut as you would uh, a real canvas roof. go this one seems to have popped out sometimes it's uh, easier just to do the sides first at least one on each anyway and it helps you to sort of like get the clips in like here there you go 
and then you just pull this one down, put that one in there, put that there, yep, yeah. that's it, and then you hook the last two, wherever that may be, yep, there, and then the one must be on the end here, whoops, it's a bit fiddly, you'll get there, yeah, so, here you go. Cargo and troop carrier ready to deliver supplies. Um, it's a really nice, uh, unusual um, vehicle. Um, B uh, BBI haven't made one like this with the canvas roof. Um, neither have um, World Peacekeepers. So uh, this is quite an unusual one. Um, and very nice with the um, canvas roof which gives like the you know you can actually get the indentations of the actual real feel of a Humvee with the roof so that's really nice um, yeah so uh, this is a review for the um, 118 scale 21st century M998 Humvee soft top troop and cargo carrier. Um, I'd like to do a shout out to uh, one of my young subscribers who, by the way, has his own channel uh, where he reviews uh, Joe Scale figures. His channel is called Mag, sorry, Maggor Elite. <laughs> Uh, a bit of an unusual name, uh, not sure quite where he got it from, but um, if you can uh, check out his uh, reviews, um, as I said he's a new subscriber, um, I've, I've subscribed to him, um, hopefully we can give him a big welcome uh, and um, take an interest in uh, his reviews. Uh, I'll shortly put up a um, little screenshot of uh, his page um, or channel, um, so um, please uh, take a look at it. Thanks a lot.